hello my lovely viewer thank you so much for making time to watch videos on this channel i really appreciate you to come here to watch videos it's a blessing to have you to watch me and so in today's content we are looking at a very sensitive information that has got to do with some activities of course food food items are inclusive that are capable of causing cancer they have been found to cause cancer yes and so we want to look at it but before i go into the details of this presentation i like to say that this is what we have to note you don't actually take this item once in a lifetime and then you get cancer but the prolonged use of it or the chronic use of it when it has been used for a long period of time it has been found to cause cancer and so even as i'm making this video i'll be mentioning some names of of some food products but i'm not here to disparage um i mean uh the brand of that item but i'm here to let us know um what it can cause when we are we we normally become chronic use of that product and so we can actually sit up and then you know be very aware of the dangers ahead in the future all right the first one that i like us to look at is monosodium glutamate monosodium glutamate will actually be, will actually be converted to glutamate but before i talk about it i want us to know that it is an amino acid And we have to know that the cancer cell really loves glutamine after it eats up the sugar. All right, we were talking about, I mean, the subsequent videos, we've been speaking on sugar, sugar, sugar. So you, you actually get where we are going to. The cancer cell really loves sugar. Of course, this um, product or this kind of uh, compound I called its name is not really something that you can find. You can find it in a lot of our food products. I'm showing you some of them over Of course, you can be eating them. You can be using them once in a while. But it shouldn't be consistent. It shouldn't be a daily thing that you do all the time. The second one that we have to look at is chronic stress. It's okay for us to be stressed sometimes, but when it becomes chronic, all the time you have, you don't have any time to rest because you want money, because you want to do something, you want to make something. So always you are there's a chronic stress. There's a chronic stress in your. What is going to happen is that there's going to be a cortisol resistance, just like insulin resistance. And when there's that cortisol resistance in your body, what happens is that a lot of cortisol resistance is actually going to suppress the white blood cells production in your body. And when it happens, of course, your immune system is going to go down. As your immune system goes down, the natural killer cells in your blood or in your body that are supposed to find cancerous cells, they are not going to do their job because you have accumulated so much of stress and the stress has actually led to that and it has made them fail in doing their job. Now, the next one that we have to look at is diabetes. And we are talking about diabetes because of a study that was done in 2018 in the United States of about 20 million people. And this, this actually involves 47 studies. And so it was found that the type 1 and the type 2 diabetes of men and women, the men who had diabetes were at a higher risk of 19% of getting cancer. And the women who had diabetes were at a higher risk of 27% of getting cancer. So you can judge it yourself what diabetes can actually cause. And so what is the main cause of diabetes? Sugar. When the sugar level is not properly managed, and so we now come to the point that cancer, the cancerous cells, they run after sugar. Just like I said, cancer really loves sugar because there's going to be a creation of an oxidative damage and a mit mitochondrial damage in your body. All that we are trying to say is that the cancerous cells, they love sugar. They really love sugar. And so your consumption of sugar, you need to be very careful about it. All right, let's go to the next one. The next one I would like to talk about is there is... A compound called zinc oxide it is normally found in sunscreen and what it does is that it's able to cause free radicals in the body you can actually check me to that there are a lot of zinc oxide in most of the sunscreens that we use most of the products that we use a lot of them and so you can check me to that and um, I'm not saying you should stop using any product that contains zinc oxide but the consistent use of it you should not develop um, um, a, a long-term use of the product it should be inconsistent and of course that's really going to help these days i know we can't actually complain because most of these products that we use have all these things that i'm talking about but we actually need to you know conscientize ourselves how to use this product so that we cannot be endangered in the future the next one that i want to talk about is working in night shifts the chronic working in night there are some people they i don't know the type of job they do but they don't sleep at night 
they are always working in the night and they sleep in the day it's very bad once in a while you work i mean you go for night shift it's okay but if it becomes chronic if it becomes consistent without you having to sleep in the in the in the night because actually the night was made for us to sleep and so due to um, uh, certain circumstances we decide that okay we have to work in the night and then sleep in the day but it shouldn't be consistent and of course i have i have actually prepared a video on night work night shift i've prepared a video on it in 2007 working in night shift was classified as a probable carcinogen carcinogen simply means it can cause cancer all right you can also check me to that but just stay connected i'll bring you a video on the night shift and the next one we like to look at is grilled meat and fish of course when we are grilling a meat or when we are grilling a fish uh, there's this kind of oil that it begins to get into the coil and when it gets into the coil it produces some kind of flames some kind of flames um, i think you in the, the picture here you we, we, we can see something like that that it begins to produce that kind of flame now it is found that the production of that flame has a compound that can cause cancer or let's say it is a carcinogenic and so if you would want to mitigate this kind of thing you would have to actually season um, your meat or fish in the course of grilling with either rosemary thyme or garlic it's really going to help and there we come again you realize that these uh, suya people and these people who make this chinchinka and this kind of grilled meats and fish to sell they make this kind of um, um, recipe that has so much of <laughs> monosodium glutamate. So you see what is going to happen. All right, and so we need to actually mitigate all these things with rosemary, thyme, garlic. It's really going to help. The next one we are looking at it is breast implants. You probably have a silicone and other um, kind of plastic that are leaching into your lymphatic system. It's a possible cause of cancer. And so, um, if you would check not for it to be consistent, it's really going to help. Because when plastic and other silicon products are leaching into your lymphatic system, just guess what is going to happen in the future. All right. The last one which I'll be talking about is secondhand smoking. This thing has been found in the US of 40,000 people to die of cancer every year. And so you'd have to check if um, you fall in this category. It's, 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 it's not a good thing. And so you would, you would want to, you know, advise yourself on that. <laughs> it brings us to the end of today's presentation. And I know that you would want to look at these things I've mentioned very carefully. And it's really going to help. And we're going to have the best of life to live. Thank you very much for making time to watch me on this channel. I really appreciate you for watching my videos. And kindly subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed. And you can like to this content. You can share it also and put a comment there. You can also decide um, to bring up something that you want us to talk about. When you bring it there... Um, we are going to attend to your comments and then if we have to make a video on it, we're going to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you another time on this channel. Bye-bye.